Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a professional here today. So today I want to show you guys a treasure hunt. And this, you get, an, you get an email after playing some time, you get an email from this Vander, Vander guy, which tells you the location of a golden revolver. And you're supposed to be able to get it also additionally in Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe. But basically, they send you a picture, once you open the email, it'll, someplace randomly on your map will spawn, you have this big giant yellow circle you have to go to. I actually did this once originally, my original spot was right here in Vespucci Beach here. But the thing is though, I had a, I got disconnected from Rockstar servers and I had to redo the whole thing all over again. But basically, just go by the picture, and it's going to be right in that general area right here. And this looks like this is right here from that picture. So let's see if we can find it. And we are gonna be we are gonna be looking for a note specifically. If you guys have the Vespucci Beach one, like I origin originally did, it will be a note. It'll be a white note. Let's see if we can find it. It should be in this area right here. I think I already see it. Yep. Yeah, I think I see it already. Okay, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for this note. Treasure tore our family apart. It ain't here no more. I moved it. You fuckers will will never find it. Okay. I wish there was some some more of a story behind this treasure, really. Like I wish it would explain it a little more where this came from and everything. It, it reminds me a lot of the mystery in um reminds me a lot of the mystery, the Michael it mystery they added with the PS4, you know, when you find a dead body under the water. But um Let's see, the treasure has been fined. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a bunch of uh you're gonna have a bunch of question marks appear on your map. And you gotta go to them and they're gonna give you clues right now. They're gonna give you more clues. Okay, so we got two up here. Okay, we got two up here, one down here. Okay, let's go let's go down there first, because I believe the treasure is gonna be up in Polito Bay when we end this. Let's skip forward to it right now. Okay, we have arrived at location. Okay, when you come to this area, the treasure is going to be in this cave right here. This cave has been in the game for years, and I wondered if they were ever going to do anything with it. So I guess they decided to use it for the treasure hunt thing. But once you go in here, you're going to find just this dead body here. And I, I, don't, I don't understand really, like, how that is a clue, to tell you the truth. Okay, so the next area right here. North of Sandy Shore is right here, and it's going to be right on the beach. It's going to be in this little, little destroyed shack over here. Well, <laughs> a little bit of a wipe out there. Bloody shovel right here. That's clue number two. Let's go to the final clue. It's in Grapeseed. The final clue here in Grapeseed. I honestly thought it was going to be on top of the grain elevator there. But it's actually right next to this tree. And basically it's a case here of a missing revolver. Once you finish, once you finish all three clues, you will have a location on the treasure. The first time I did this, it was in Polito Bay, but now it's apparently it's on the it's near the railroad tracks on the right side of Grape Seed. Let's get over there really quick. Okay, so up here we got a, a couple of dead bodies, and we got the treasure. Let's open it. Nice. Beautiful, right? You have an unlocked double action revolver. And if you guys look at the stats on this revolver, this revolver is at this this revolver is actually pretty powerful right here. It is fifty percent damage. Okay. So there's an extra there's an extra challenge. If you get 50 if you get 50 headshots with this revolver if you get 50 headshots with this revolver, you can actually you can actually unlock $250,000. And I was thinking of ways, you know, ways I could use that to make more money. So I was thinking, you know, why don't I just do a survival? I can kill 50 enemies in that easily, and I can get $250,000, and I can get the money and free ammo from the survival. So I figured, why not do a survival? So that's what I did. I personally like doing Sandy survival, but it's up to you guys what you like to do. So I'm just going to go to survival really quick and let's just speed through it as we're going to kill to get these 50 headshots and get the 250k. Let's do it. And also, I feel I feel really bad for the players that I feel really bad for the players that thought that it was 50 headshots on players. There's some people who have gotten 50 headshots on players didn't know that it was going to be on you that you could do it on NPCs. I mean, that technically still counts, but they really you really could have done it on NPCs. So let's do it. Here we go. Let's use our revolver. 
You guys can do this in first person if it makes it easier for you. Make sure you also do it on auto-aim, because it makes it a lot easier. Fifty headshots. We got a man down. We got a man hey, down. Come on! Oh, bleeding, asshole. This is here. Dead, dead, dead. You got shot. So you guys see how easy this is right now. The waves are going to get harder as it goes on, but right now this is really easy. There we go, see? And the thing tells you when you get... So I've already gotten 10 headshots. Damn, that's so easy. Got you. I got $250,000 and we're credited with it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now let's show the end of the survival as well to see how much we get for this. There we go. We managed to get 50 headshots with the revolver pistol, get our 250k, and we did a survival in the meantime. We put our total earnings at $280,000, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of this pistol down below. Do you like this pistol? Do you want to see this pistol in Red Dead Redemption 2? What do you think of it? Is it add a new variety to the game? And I guess that's that for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.